in this uh, video we will learn about ansible ad hoc commands so ad hoc commands are nothing it's just an ansible commands uh, which you can use for uh, normal executions uh, of the ansible job it's a single job like let's say you want to test something very quickly so you don't need to create the playable configure these and all so instead you can execute ansible commands against some uh, managed nodes using some modules so we will go through some of the ad hoc commands and it will be very useful for troubleshooting part or you want to test some modules etc please note uh, i will upload all the configuration playbooks everything in inside this git repository so if you have any questions you can uh, ask in the comment box uh, i have already added the GitLab, github repository inside inside the video description and also you can see the files for reference inside this same repository under specific directory when you log in from ansible engine to ansible node uh, you need to configure the credential either you can use the username password but uh, you need to configure inside the ansible uh, inventory or the inventory host variables here we have a situation let's say we have two nodes and one engine so i want to log into the node so check my host file so i have a few nodes these nodes are not available i just added in the entry only let's say i ping node one okay okay it is reachable then i want to ping to node two also reachable good so what you have to try ssh node one so it's asking for the password and ssh node two also asking for password so during the execution we don't want to do this kind of uh, authentication and uh, entering the password so you have two methods either you give the password in the inventory but which is not a recommended method in this method we are going to set up sorry we are going to set up the ssh key based authentication from ansible engine to the nodes uh, please note uh, let's say your device is something like a network device or something like that and the ssh key based authentication is not possible still you can use the ansible uh, username password based authentication so for this item what you have to do you have to create an ssh key pair so it's very simple i will just go through the same this and key gen then you use um, you can use other commands like the key length the uh, commands etc but we are just doing it very simple one so it will create a new uh, rsa key uh, i don't want to use the passphrase so i just enter enter i think so ls minus la so you can see there is a new key just created by the command now we need to pass this public key information to the target node so the authentication will automatically there are two methods either you can copy this public key and put inside the node authorized keys files but we are using a command called ssh copy id and you use node one so it will ask you for the password good i already added and i do the same for node 2 then now we try ssh node 1 okay we are inside the node 1 what about node 2 good so this is how you can add the ssh key based authentication it's very simple uh, please remember do not overwrite if you have an ssh key do not overwrite this one Please make sure you have uh, no other SSH keys uh, or IDRSA or other keys available in the same location with the same name. If if there is a, an existing one, you have to use a different name. Okay, we will learn about how to use multiple keys, different keys for the authentication in the upcoming videos. Okay, now we have access to the nodes. What we have to try is the ad hoc command. For that, we will do one thing we will create a new directory the dar ad hoc demo then we create an ansible.cft and we add defaults inventory equal to then remote user mention vagrant that's all for now because we are not going to explore a lot in this demo 
now uh, we try okay ansible all list post okay no entry because inventory is blank so we create an inventory inside we put nodes node 1 node 2 now we try again okay now we are already started using ansible ad hoc commands this is i call ansible ad hoc commands so you instead of using the playbook you just try uh, the default commands and with some options now we just listing now we want to test the fast access with ansible so what you do ansible it's all then you use the module called ping ping is not a network ping please remember that this ping will log into the target machine and will just get the response as pong means ansible is able to log into the node and uh, run i mean execute the commands okay now we will try with another module uh, we want to just check the uptime and the host name of the target machine so ansible my uh, all then module name is shell then you pass the arguments uptime and um, let's say host name okay ansible is able to log in it will show the uptime then it will also show the show the name of the host let's say you want to try something else ansible date good let's say i want to install a package on that node one so ansible then i mentioned node one only yum then you pass the arguments and it's a then you pass what are the arguments so name is equal to a httpd so i need to install the http package then state equal to present means the state should be present means the package should be installed state absent means package need to be removed so we try this one okay so this is a good uh, way to learn actually you will see this command has to be run under the root user means if you want to install something you need to do it as sudo because we are logging as vagrant user so what i have to do i have to execute the command as a, a sudo with sudo access you already learned how to do the sudo inside your configuration so what you have to do is um, the um, ansible.cfg then you have to put it become equal to true but uh, if you put inside the bag uh, ansible.cfg this become equal to true will be uh, apply for all the playbooks you run we don't want to do that we want to do the become only for these commands so if you check the ansible minus help you will see there are some options like become so you have an option like how to become so you can use minus b or become and also if there is a password need to be done you have to put hyphen hyphen ask hyphen become hyphen pass so we will try the same command but i put become and wait for that okay good so you can see the node one already changed it's successful uh, install this uh httpd and of course the dependent dependency packages so means you can see the change equal to true rc equal to zero means no issues then you can see the results like it installed the http package together with the dependencies so we will log in to the another, another console we will log in to the node so ssh node one sudo system ctl status httpd of course it's installed but not activated let's say i want to remove this so it's very simple you have to do the same thing but instead of the present i put absent now wait for the command to be finished it says remove httpd it won't remove the other dependencies but you can see it's already removed from the node one we'll go and check the node one again see there is no httpd service or package installed okay so you know how to execute it uh, so you will learn more modules and ad hoc commands in the upcoming videos 
But uh, let me explain something more because we mentioned the become and the minus b options. Let's say if your node is not configured with the uh, uh, sudo access, please make sure you have access to the node. Here uh, you can see I have login as vagrant or you can choose any DevOps, Ansible, any user, but make sure you have sudo access. Okay. So if you don't have sudo access, of course, you won't be able to execute such operations now we want to see what is happening in the minus b when you do the become so clear everything and simple uh, node one then i want to execute minus m ping okay good i want to execute shell and i want to check what is the id it's using okay it's using as vagrant so I didn't because uh, the remote user is vagrant and it's showing okay the execution is happening as a user called vagrant. Now I do the same thing but I enable become. Now you see the changes because you put and it means become and the operations will happen as a sudo which is a root. Let's say if your root you if your sudo user is something different, let's say system admin or sysadmin something different then of course you have to mention that using the become user option in the ansible configuration please remember that okay uh, watch the ansible configuration or the deployment video for those details we will try one more of uh, uh, ad hoc command uh, before we stop this session so let's say we are in the node one Okay, we are in the node one and we we want to execute uh, we want to copy some uh, items inside the node one so we'll use cat dc um MOTD. okay nothing inside so what i will do we want to copy something to the node one so we will use command and simple then we want to put it on both nodes so i will use all then the module name so i use module name copy then you have to put the give the arguments so what are the arguments usually if you are not sure about the argument you can easily get it from the documentation so ansible copy so you go to the copy module documentation and you will see the options you have all the options but if you go to the examples you can see there are options like source destination honor mode all those things but for the demo we are going to use only source and destination in our case we want to copy some text so i put like uh, instead of source i put content so if you go there are example for the content instead of the source you can put content some text or some string and the destination so copy then then the content equal to this is configured by ansible then you have to give the destination so destination is your edc mrtd then the mode let's say you want to put some uh, permissions of course you have to use like um, mode equal to uh, 0 7 5 5 something like that and of course we are running this something system code system file you should enable become you can like become or minus b good it's already changed we go and check uh here cat motd okay you can see that let's say i want to check the same using ansible so what is the easiest way ansible all minus m shell minus a cat edc motd right so ansible will go and show this content good this is configured by ansible on node one and node two okay I think that's all for the uh, ad hoc commands. Uh, you can practice more uh, like this. Uh, usually, we will use this for the troubleshooting purpose and all other items. 
um, if you are not sure what are the ansible command options just to use the help and you will see what are the options like become user become a third ask us then you can SS, uh, use the ssh common arguments yeah all those items okay so have a look and um, start practicing and you will learn the handle commands and all the options uh, inside ansible and uh, thank you uh, watch all the videos for learning more about ansible and see the video playlist of the full course in the video description thank you for watching see you next time with another video thank you